Hello, welcome to the Tennessee State University downtown Avon Williams campus. My name is Dr. Robert Hassel. I'm the Executive Director of the Emergency Technology Division and the TSU Smart Center. And we're excited to have you visit our study of the art facility today. The TSU Smart Center is an academic research division. It is comprised of two sides, which consists of coding and robotics, smart music, professional development, and academic esports. Let's take a tour of our wonderful facilities today as we head to our smart music and coding robotics side. Hello and welcome into our smart multimedia and podcasting studio. My name is Marcus Horton. I am one of our academic technology coaches here in the Smart Innovation Center. So in this studio, we are able to offer a multiple or wide variety of different activities, including our studio sessions, which will include full vocal booths, as well as studio and production software, such as smart software as the theory board. With the theory board, you're able to use music theory to actually create music without actually using a piano or keyboard. And we will also have our live podcasting studio where students and community members will be able to come in, do photography, uh, podcasting, as well as videography through the studio. I'm going to toss it back over to Dr. Robert Hassel, our executive director, to show you more of this amazing set. Wasn't our smart music studio amazing? Come join me in our coding robotics side as we learn more about Spheros, Spheros RVs, virtual reality, mixed reality, and augmented reality. It's going to be an amazing time. Let's go. Hello, guys. Welcome to our virtual reality and our coding robotics lab. I am Bryson Scott. I am also one of the technology coaches here at the Avon Williams State of the Art Smart Center, and I welcome you all to our lab. What we do down here, we are creating creators, producers, digital architects, and digital creatives. Here in this space, we are honing critical thinkers, computational thinkers, and which stands on the pillars of where students can take their education from being a consumer and also innovating it to be a producer of their education. So what I mean is on the pillars that we stand on, we stand on to where students can solve problems, right? breakdown problems into manageable chunks, re recognize their patterns and abstract from those patterns and create an algorithmic function to where it can also solve a problem in an educational setting and in the real world setting with just a click of a button. Let's take a deep dive into the world of Spiro's coding robotics. And I want to toss it off to my amazing colleague, Dr. Cornetta Bartley, as she tells you about the amazing things that she does using Spiro's, Spiro's RVs, and other special robots here at the TSU Smart Center. Dr. Hassel, and guess what an amazing semester we have with camps. Here in the Spiro Room is where we use this tool that's called a boat to teach students through STEM how to operate, code, create, how to collaborate with one another, how to think outside of the box, how to do coaching with one another. We have an amazing intern student that is from Big Picture High School that creates games for the students to learn how to operate and maneuver the Spiros. The Spiros not only come in the form of a boat, but it comes in the form of robots, which we have here, Star Wars figures, and it also comes in the form of a car. What an amazing time we had in our coding and robotics lab. Now come on and follow me into our fully immersive technology curriculum lab. Let's see what we got going on here. This space is our fully immersive technology curriculum lab. All of these devices are arranged and categorized in the disciplines. This is where we teach faculty, staff, and students to incorporate different types of technology into their classroom. We also receive devices that are in beta testing and tell various corporations how to use those in conjunction with teaching and learning. We have some amazing, amazing things here on our tables. We emphasize coding and robotics. So coding starts as early as two years old. Some of these devices we have, such as coding caterpillars, smart jump ropes, artificially intelligent dogs, drones, robots, and various types of software that you can actually engage and incorporate those into the learning experience. We also teach students and teachers how to repurpose technology. Any device that we have in this room, we understand that some people may not have those devices. 
So using devices that they have or similar devices, we're able to teach them how to use that technology and how to incorporate it to get the maximum effect for its use in their purposes. Hello everyone, my name is Alonzo Rhodes and I'm an intern from Nashville v. Fisher High School. It has been a pleasure interning here since my sophomore year. Um, I kind of do a little bit of everything, but my main departments are um, robotic coding with the Sparrow Robots in the garage band. And here's one of our AI robotic dogs that I'm controlling right now. And while I've been here, we've just been working on growing the technology community within the TSU. Welcome to the TSU Smart Center Suite. This week contains all of the offices here where we perform all of our administrative functions. But as we stop through here, I want to show you some of the amazing things that we create when we do outreach with various community organizations. Check out our mural made by Spiro Robots. Backfield in Motion, one of the community organizations here in Nashville, came and as one of their activities in the Spiro Center, they were able to create this abstract mural using the robots, their different speeds, and their different directions. What an amazing student-generated artifact. Creativity, innovation, and so much fun. Have you enjoyed your time with us thus far? I know I have enjoyed my time with you. Come on, we're here at the Academic Esports and Professional Development side, but when we flew in those facilities, look at our hallway of affirmation. These contain leaders from time, technology, engineering, mathematics, gamification, and game creation. It is so important that our students are able to identify with someone who looks just like them. So we created and curated this space as a place of affirmation so that they can see that there are people that look just like them in these particular fields. And we have some more exciting facilities to show you today. Come on in to our professional development and staff training lab, a study of our facility that our students, faculty, and staff are able to take part in as they learn more about immersive technology and their related applications. Come on in, let's have a good time together. Hello again, and welcome to the student, staff, and faculty training room. This training room is equipped with 22 state-of-the-art Alienware computers in which we use and train to teach you artificial intelligence like what you see on the screen here, as well as we teach Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and Apple products and how they can synchronize and develop between all of those different platforms. We also have sound reactive lighting to immerse you into the experience that is reacting to me as I speak as well and to the different activities that are going on in the room. What I love about this space is that we cater this space directly to you. Whatever your professional development, training, or teaching or learning experience is, we cater that to you to make sure that you get the most immersive experience possible. Wasn't that amazing? Our faculty and staff training lab here at the TSU Smart Center, where our faculty, staff, and students are learning on top of the line equipment as they grow and develop in immersive technology and the subsequent applied principles. Come on into our academic esports lab. This is a multi purpose facility that's an actual classroom, but serves as the home court for our competitive academic esports teams here at Tennessee State University. We have the TSU HEAT, which stands for Highly Exclusive Academic Team. We have TSU XHD which is our intramurals league. And then lastly, we have the TSU Heat International team for our international students. This is a multifunctional classroom complete with top of the line Alienware computers where our students actively compete against other organizations, other institutions as well. One of the most important facets of this classroom is that we are bridging the gap between esports and orbital careers. So our job is to point students, regardless of any major, into potential fields that they can actually enter into upon graduation. This classroom is reviewed uh, and aligned with the K-12 Tennessee State Standards, as well as the NC's Technology Standards. So every offering you see in this space is intentionally linked to an aspect of the curriculum uh, that we are actually implementing. Also in this space, 
TSU Smart Center was afforded uh, the opportunity to be a part of the SAC CLC process for the TSU Avon Williams campus. We received a commendation for being the perfect blend between immersive technology, academic esports, and artificial intelligence. We are excited to have you here in this space. Take a look around to see the amazing features of this classroom, as well as what we teach on gamification, game-based learning, sports technology, gamification versus game-based learning, and best practices. Thank you for visiting the TSU Smart Center and Immersive Technology Division here at the Tennessee State University, downtown Avon Williams campus. We're so excited to have you visit with us today and look forward to you coming back to see us very soon. See you later.